Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in humans normal skin color capital A is dominant over albina that is small a. A diabetic uh, albina man marries a normal woman whose mother was an albina and whose father was diabetic. What are the genotypes of the man and the woman? What proportion of their children would be expected to be both non-diabetic and have normal skin color? And before I will show you how to solve this problem, I have a comment. Uh, this is fictional problem because uh, uh, diabetes uh, is not a simple Mendelian genetic problem where we have one dominant and one recessive allele. Uh, there are different number of uh, mutations and different factors play a role, uh, including um, a lot of uh, environmental influence. So, as you know, the uh, phenotype is uh, genotype plus environmental influence. So, in uh, this um, disease, uh, environmental influence plays a huge role. For example, in identical twin studies, uh, scientists have found that uh, diabetes 1, there is two types of diabetes, uh, in diabetes 1, Identical twins that are genetically identical, so 100% identical, only 50% of the uh, other twins uh, develop uh, the same condition. And as for the uh, diabetes 2, uh, this uh, type of diabetes has more strong uh, influence of genes, but still uh, 25% of the Mm, twins didn't develop uh, this type of diabetes when the other one developed. So as you see, very strong uh, environmental influence. But let's pretend that this is simple Mendelian genetic problems and we have only two alleles, one dominant and one recessive for this trait. So how we are going to solve this problem? This is very easy. We know that we have diabetic albina man. So, his genotype have to be, for example, if we have two genes, let us uh, say one gene A, another gene B, uh, so uh, because uh, he is albina, he have to have two defective alleles, so small a and small a, and also he have to have two defective uh, alleles B that um, stand for the uh, diabetes trait, so small b and small b. So this is going to be his genotype. As for the woman, we know that her phenotype is normal, but we don't know her genotype. Uh, but we know uh, her family history. We know that her mother was an albina. Let's build a simple pedigree of this family. So circle to designate her mother. She was albina, so uh, she have to have small a, small a genotype for this trait, and um, whose father was diabetic. So nothing is said about uh, whether she diabetic or not. Then we think that uh, she is normal for this trait, and she has two normal uh, alleles, and whose father was diabetic. So. Nothing is told us about uh, uh, his skin problems, so we have to assume that his uh, homozygous normal for this trait, so capital A, capital A, but he is uh, diabetic, so we have to think that uh, he has two defective alleles. So this couple has a daughter, and as you see, uh, Female only can give, uh, no matter which allele, uh, she only can give to her daughter uh, recessive allele A. And father uh, can give only uh, dominant allele A, no matter which one this is going to be. So we know that uh, genotype of their daughter for this trait is heterozygous, capital A and small a, and no matter which allele would give this uh, female to her daughter, 
was her uh, alleles for the uh, diabetes are dominant. So uh, we know that one of the alleles would be capital B and as for the uh, second allele from the father side, uh, father has only uh, recessive, two recessive alleles, so no matter which allele he would give, uh, he would give a small uh, B allele. So this is going to be genotype of this female, capital A small a, capital B small b. So now it is very easy to solve this problem. Once again I want to highlight that uh, those I am showing uh, two alleles here but only one would be transferred from any of the parents, uh, not two of them, but because there is no choice actually here, so no matter which uh, allele would be transferred, uh, we know for sure that uh, genotype of the daughter is uh, double heterozygous for this two trait. So we also call this dehybrid. So what kind of um, gametes this male can produce, so this is male and this is female side. Uh, only one type of gametes that is going to be uh, small a and small b. Once again gametes are haploid and uh, gametes of the male would be sperm and gametes of the female would be egg cells. Uh, so what kind of gametes this female can produce and uh, the first variant would be capital A and capital B. So this is going to be the first variant, capital A, capital B. Uh, the second variant would be capital A and small b. So this is going to be capital A and small b. The third variant would be uh, small a and capital B, so small a and capital B, and the fourth variant would be small a and small b, small a and small b. So now let's build a simple Punnett square and find what is the probable genotypes and phenotypes in their progeny. So once again this is male side, this is uh, male gamete, only one type of gamete that male can produce and here is female side and four variants of the gamete that female can produce. So of course uh, uh, genotypes in their progeny would be capital A from the mother side, small a from the father side, capital B from the mother side and small b from the father side. And capital A, small a here, small b, small b here, small a, small a here, capital B, small b here, and the last variant would be small a, small a, and small b, small b. So uh, out of all these four different genotypes, only this genotype would produce phenotype uh, that is going to be normal for both uh, skin color and this person is not going to have uh, diabetes because this person has one normal dominant allele. So this is going to be normal phenotype. As for this um, genotype, as you see, skin color would be normal, but this person would have diabetes. This person would have um, albina condition of the skin color and uh, would be normal for diabetes, so wouldn't have diabetes. And this variant would be both albina and would have diabetes. So uh, our answer what proportion 
of the children would be expected to be both non-diabetic and have normal skin color, our answer would be one quarter or 25 percent. And this is going to be our answer today. One more note, uh, if it would be easier for you, this is gametes that produce male, so this is going to be sperm, and this gamete that produce female, so this is going to be egg cells, and both uh, types of gametes are haploid. And here uh, we have uh, diploid organism, that these two uh, gametes when merged would produce. So this is going to be genotypes and phenotypes of the diploid organism. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.